Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you're here today. In today's video, we're going to be playing some games and some challenges, but before we start, please take 30 seconds of your time and subscribe to this channel. Press all on the notification bell in order to be notified each time I release a video. Feel free to say hello in the comments below, letting me know you are here today. Communicating with each other is the only way to help each other grow. Now let's get started with this games and challenges video. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just So I would like to do a quick unboxing from items that I received from Get It Done. Her name is Viri. And let's go ahead and just open it. And we have the card here and the items. So let me just go ahead and remove this. And let's just go ahead and read the card. It says, thank you. And then it says, hi, Gigi. I hope this package gives you joy and motivation to continue saving. Thank you for your continued support and encouragement on my YouTube channel. As you know, every comment and every like counts. Thank you. You are such a light here in the cash stuffing community. I pray all of your financial goals are reached. Now go get it done, Viri. Oh, I included a few calendar cards that will be listed on my shop Friday, August 8th, 16th. I hope you like them. So she has a shop on Etsy. Let's just go ahead and open the items. And while I talk, she has a shop on Etsy and she's just starting her channel and she just started her shop. So I would love it if you guys can go ahead and visit her shop and let her know that you saw her items in my channel. That would really help me out a lot and will help her out too. So let's just go ahead and open the bag first because I think here is where she sent the calendars. Oh, this is so pretty. A rose. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can actually see it. And I love this paper clip. It's a dollar sign paper clip, which I do not have one. So I love that. And then we have the calendar for October, November, and December. So I'm just going to place this ones right here where you guys can actually see it. And she also sent me a teller slip. And I love her brand, um, Get It Done. And I love how she did the O with the check mark. If you guys can appreciate that, get it done. So if you can just go um, search that on YouTube and on Etsy, you will find her. And then she sent me these items right here. So let's just go ahead and open them. Oh, that was easy to open without breaking. That's awesome. Okay, okay. And let's just go ahead and see. This is a $1 challenge and you save a total of $50. So each icon is $1 and I like the fact that she added the dollar sign in there. So that's really, really pretty. I like that. So once I finish the one that I'm doing right now, which is the one that I created, I want to go ahead and use hers. And then she did the, oh, this one is great. Another $5 challenge and this one you save $250. And I think I need one of this either from my savings or my husband's. So I am glad that she sent me this one. Because I bought one from Aya Plants, but I only bought one from Aya Plants. And I wanted to get another one. And I was thinking of making it, but I think I didn't. So I think I'm going to use this one instead. So um, this is $5 and a $10 challenge. And the quality is great. And this is a $20 challenge. Save $1,000. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So there you have it. A $1, $5, and $10, $10, and $20 challenge. And then it says here how much each item is worth. So you have the dollar amount on top. And you also have the amount of money that you're going to be saving on each one of them. Thank you so much, Viri, for sending me these items. I really like them a lot. It's great quality. I totally recommend it. And I will be using them as soon as I can. So don't forget to visit her on Etsy and on YouTube here. I'm going to have her information linked in the description below for you guys. So it's easier for you to find her. Like I mentioned, go ahead and let her know that you saw her items in my channel. That would really help her out and help me out a lot. Thank you so much, Beauty, for sending me these items.
Thank you so much for staying to watch the video. So the first thing that I want to do is just count the money that I have here, which it should be the entire amount that I need for my uh, games and challenges. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So 112. And I believe I had some other money that I needed to add to some of the envelopes. So I'm going to go ahead and just get that. I went too far back here. So let me get that, that, um, that rest of the money and I'll be right back. So I have some money here. Um, this one is going to be for my $1 challenge. I have to put sticky notes because if not, I will not remember. This one is going to be also for the $5 and the $1 challenge. These are leftovers from my wallet. And this one's go here and this one's go here. Okay. And that's all the money I have here. So um, the reason why I have the nominations here is because I do keep track of my games and challenges and what I need. So this is the last time um, that I played um, this is the money that needs to go into each of the envelopes and that's my denominations right there. So there it is, $112. So I'm going to leave that to the side here. And I'm going to start with this one right here. Because I'm going to do it in the order that I have it on my sheet. So um, for this one, I needed $18, which I have right here. Oh, I don't need to take it out. So for this one, I had 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18 dollars. So, so far we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So we have 111 dollars. So let me get my pen here and just cross this one out because we do not have a lot. Um, I have to color the numbers. Let me just get my marker here. And this one was, so this one was a six. Um, I had two ones and I had two fives and that's for that one. So now I'm gonna roll again. I have two ones, I have one, two, three, four threes. One five, one two three, and three six. So I'm going to roll again and see how many times I'm going to roll for the next round. So I have to roll five times for the next round and I have to make sure that I get the numbers that are missing here. So I have a three, which we do have one here. Another three. A six, a five, and the last one is going to be another three. So that's 10, 11, uh, 14, 20. Oh. So that's $20 for the next round. Let me double check that. So that's nine. 9 plus 11 is 20. Okay, so for the next round we have 20, which I have to add to my sheet. So this one is completed. For Cherry Blossom, this one I owe $14. And I'm, I am adding 14, so 10. 1, 2, 3, and 4, so that's $14. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have 55. And I need to color this one. But let me get my Expo markers first. And we're using the brown one. So I need to color two fours and two threes. So I have one four here. 
another four here and then I need the threes so I'm gonna color a one and a two and then I'm going to do another one and a two and then that's gonna be three so while that dries for the next round let's go ahead and just play and for the next round I need to roll three times so that's a two Let me just put it here a one and another two do I have another two I don't have another two so I'm gonna roll again and a five so that equals to eight dollars for the next round and this one is cherry blossom um, $122 is what I'm going to have at the end of the game unless I add a little bit more if I want to round it up depending on what I get so that's that one this one is I'm playing this one like on a monthly basis so for August I haven't played except this one time and that's gonna be $19 and this one I'm rounding this one up to 20 to make it easier so that's gonna be all for that one and I'm going to play again so let me just remove this so you guys can see it better and how many times I'm gonna roll five times so the first one is a six. Oh, for this one I need I need two actually I'm gonna use the pink one for the top and the beige one for the side so a one and a five so that's this blue one so it's six dollars um, a five and a one is the purple so it's three dollars a two and one is the purple so it's another three dollars um, a three and four is this butterfly right here so that's two dollars and the last one is going to be two and three so it's this pink butterfly right here and that's going to be five dollars so that's going to add up to nineteen dollars that's interesting so it's gonna be the same amount as last time so I might round it up to a 20 and just um, it's easier for me to just count it that way so that's for the next round for this one I owe $26 and this one is a tricky game so 20 5 and 6 so now for shut the box I have 1 1 20 40 45 50 51 and 52 dollars and we're going to play again so I'm gonna cross this out okay so for this one I need the two dices here so we're going to start playing and it's five and two so I'm going to do five six seven five and one so I will do let me just do the five and the one. Four and two. Mm. I'll do the six. Hopefully I'm not messing myself up here. Nine. I'll do the eight. And I'm stuck. So now I have to, for this one is four it's eight nine so for the next round this one takes nine dollars and this this the glue for this sticky notes is the worst it doesn't really work <laughs> once you lift that up from where it came it doesn't work so well so this is gonna be all for this one now I'm going to move on to my next binder which is this one right here 
And for this one, it's the scratch off. So this one I owe three dollars. So one, two, and three. So now this one has 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. 41, and I'm gonna scratch off another one. So let me just take that out. The goal here is 50. So for the next round, I'm gonna use this gold one today. Let's go ahead and do this one right here. And it's $2. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. And I think to finish it, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest. Since I don't have so much time to play it, let's go ahead and just finish it. So, so far I have $3. And then this one, it's a five. So that's $10. So $10 for the next round, and we should be completing this one all together. Where's my pen? Right here. So $10 to finish. Perfect. So at the end, I should have a minimum of $50, because sometimes I do like to round that up. So minimum of $50. We'll see what happens at the end, how much money I actually have. And then for the summer savings, for this one, I owe $17. And that's exactly what I'm giving it. So I have 10, 15, 16, and 17. Okay. So all together we have 20, 40, 60, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and 86 dollars. The goal is 100. So I paid the 17. Let's see what happens on the next round for this one. Let's see what happens on the next round. Let's do... Let's do this one here. <laughs> so this one is maybe a five. And it is a five. So we'll have one last one to finish the next time we play. So this one is five dollars. Okay, so that's going to be for the next round. The next one is this cherry blossom, save $40. And this one I owe $6. So five and six. So right now we have 25, 26, 27, and $28. And we're going to, um, let's go ahead and do this one right here and that's a four perfect so the next round i have a four and this ones are mine um from the monthly dollars so if you're interested in them they are for sale so let me know sending me a private message on instagram um this one is also mine so if you're interested let me know and this one is also mine self-love so if you're interested let me know and this one is also mine um, this one is a butterfly mini scratch off of $40. So for this one, I owe five. So it's five, six, seven. So I have five, 10, 11, and 12. For the next round, let's go ahead and do the one that's up here. And it's three dollars. So I'm gonna write in here three dollars for the next round. And I have three dollars here because I missed one, and I think it's in here, or at least I hope it's in there, unless I change the binder. Let me double check. I don't know if I changed the binder. I think I did. I took it out because I do have another one. Um, give me a second. I'll be back. 
Okay, I did forget this binder. This one is from Simple Dollar Co. And I have other games in here that I'm also playing. So I moved them here. So for the $1 challenge, let's just go ahead and take care of that. And I have this one's right here. I have one, two, three, four, and five dollars for the one dollar challenge. So I have to color five more. So that's five. Let me wait for this to dry. So I should have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Why do I have eight? Oh, it should, it should be eight. I'm sorry. Because it's, it's four, four is eight. So that's how much I have here. And let's go ahead and see. It's hard to put so many ones here. Okay. For this one, this one is the $5 challenge. Oh, okay. I do have a $5 challenge. So I'm just going to add one here because I have one that I'm doing on my personal envelope um, binder. So I'm just going to add one here just to, to get this one moving. So I have five, 10, 15 and $20 here. And then the other 10 are going to my personal binder. So I have 10 here. And then let me just go ahead and finish with this binder so we don't get confused. I have $3 and this one is going to this puzzle me because I owe here the two, two on one. So that's $3. And let's just color that. Okay. So this one, when I finish, is going to be 85. Right now I have five, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This one is moving slow, but it's moving. It's because I don't have either a lot of time to play the games or enough money to play the games. So that's gonna be all for this binder. And then this is my personal savings binder. And this is where I wanted to add the other $10. This is a savings challenge from Elaine Budgets. It's a $5 savings challenge. So I'm going to add the $2 here. Not the $2, I'm sorry, the two $5 bills. And that's two. So now I have 15. Perfect, and that's all for this video. That's gonna be all for these games and challenges. Not what I need to do. Just remove this out of the way, get, give myself some space, and bring this back and find out how much money I need for the next round. Um, how much money I need for the next round and write it here. So this one, it doesn't count. Does it? The puzzle me, I'm gonna leave it blank for now and it's just whatever I can put in there, then I will. But let's go ahead and start here with this one. So for this one, the friends challenge, I need $20. So I'm just gonna do a 20 on that one. For the cherry blossom dice, this one is $122. I need $8 on that one. So, Five, six, seven, eight. Then for the butterfly, for that one I need nineteen dollars. I think I'm gonna do a twenty on that one. And then for shut the box, for this one I owe nine, so I think I'm gonna do just a ten. And then that's it for this binder. I don't know if you got to see that, but for the next round I'm going to add eighty-one dollars. Or I'm going to need $81 to add to the envelopes. And definitely I will be finishing one of them, which is this one, the self-love. So I'm just going to put here, finish. Excuse my handwriting. Um, and I think that's going to be all for this video. 
this is how I like to keep track of my games and see what my progress is and how it's been going. And then once I don't need it, then I just, you know, get rid of it. But I have other sheets here. So like I said, once I don't need it, I just get rid of it and just continue to the next sheet. And, um, and that's it. I like to keep track of my things as much as possible just so I know what's going on and what I have been doing or not doing to see if I need to remove it from um, my to-do list. But this is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed it.